This is named aptly so because uh, a lot of times I've gotten comments that have said, you know, oh look, you look tired or you sound tired or you are tired and I am tired. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you what you know a typical night of me doing whatever it is that I do looks like. Uh, it's 9:50 right now, and I got off of work at 8:30, which means I've been answering pretty much emails until now and that's pretty much it now I have to go work out and I'm gonna explain some stuff down there but then we're gonna go over to Derek's who I usually I usually go over to his house every so often like every few nights or so so we'll probably get there around 11 hopefully probably 11 30 since I'm probably gonna have to take a shower after I'm done working out this might be a two-part episode because it might take a little longer to you know film everything but um Pretty much, I'm just going to show you what I do during a regular night, and that's about it. So let's go downstairs and uh, work out. The last time I did this, uh, it was pretty much just a skit. It was just supposed to be funny. Because uh, if you've seen some of the other episodes, I referenced that I actually work in Target, and I work in the back, and we routinely have to lift up to 80 or 90 pounds occasionally. Um, the heaviest thing I've ever had to lift by myself was like an 80 or 90 pound grill. And, uh, that was quite a feat since, you know, you might think 80 or 90 pounds isn't that, isn't that much, but when it's a wide box and you have to like stretch your arms out to try to pick it up, think of trying to pick up a really fat square kid with pointy sides. It's not exactly fun, but since I've picked that up by myself, I can clearly lift over two and a half pounds per arm in a dumbbell. But that was just supposed to be funny. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I do when I actually really do work out. I did really work out that night, but I mean, I didn't lift two pounds. But uh, fun fact, when I was little, I had a few childhood accidents, and I ended up breaking both of my arms at separate times. One when I was 8th and one when I was 13. Um, so my arms are considerably weaker than what they probably should be. Um, when I lift something heavy, my bones actually hurt in my forearm. Like, I'll have to drop something because it just it hurts sometimes. But it usually doesn't happen. I mean, that, that's only for, like, really heavy stuff and if I'm lifting it too much. But, yeah, I have pretty small forearms if you've never or ever seen them. Um, it's mostly due to those accidents is what I can chalk it up to. So, I mean... I'm skinny, but I'm not that skinny, and I think I've gained like 10 or 15 pounds in the last month, so that's good. I'll give you a little bit of insight into what I actually do, and now you got some backstory on my childhood accidents. I did explain it somewhat, you know, well when I did it the first time. I do do sit-ups and push-ups first, but I do more than one. I do quite a few, actually. Um, couldn't tell you a real specific number, but... I'm a little bit out of breath already, but, I mean, these are the weights that I actually do use, and, uh, as you can tell, I really can pick these up, it's not like, you know, I can't pick up more than two and a half pounds, so, just bullshitting you more with that whole root of workout routine, but, now I have to do the lifting phase, and then it goes to curling, and then it goes to running, so, I'll be back later sometime, I don't know when. Technically a lifting type thing, but uh, it's a curling bar. But uh, forgot to mention, I need to buy heavier weights, namely dumbbells, because 20 pounds is simply just not cutting it anymore. Um, but I don't have money, so uh, that's where the problem comes in. No money, no stuff, unless it's free, which I'm not getting anything for free. So I got nothing. So <laughs> until I get more money, I think I'm just gonna be using those, I guess. I do have a membership at a gym, and I go every so often, but uh, it's usually just more convenient to work out at home, pretty much. Out of the way, all that's left is the running portion, which I have a machine right over here, which does it for me. Well, I, I run on it, but it's not quite the same as real running, but same thing. And then I just pretty much take a shower and be done. Every so often I like to look at this thing, and not only laugh at it for a little bit, but then pet it, and then continue doing whatever I was doing. Hey! going on, huh? Okay. That is a dog, in case you didn't know what it was. Some people get confused, but it is indeed a dog. Pretty much what I wasn't waiting for. I'm just going to take off my shirt now.
when I'm done, uh, I usually come drink this protein stuff, and no, it doesn't come out of a long tube, if anyone's wondering, but uh, I don't know if it does anything, but it gets me to drink milk more, so it's got to be doing something right, and it tastes pretty good, as opposed to some of the other stuff that I've had the unfortunate experience to drinking, so as long as it's just getting me to drink milk, I guess it's doing something good. This sucks. Sucks. I need this cat on film. Why? Look at him. Look at him. I don't know why. Just look at him. Hey, you. It's getting to meow. Yeah. That's right, Mrs. Sauce. <laughs> Sauce. It's nothing happened in my friend's house. It's literally just um, room. It was just, you know, him and I. I pretty much just didn't decide to film anything because that would be kind of pointless. So, 2.34, I'm pretty much going strong for at least like another three or four hours on a day off. Hey, how about that uh, Prestige? Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 edition. If you haven't seen that, look it up. It's freaking nuts. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but look it up. It's the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige uh, edition of Modern Warfare 2. I don't think I'm going to get it because I've already put money towards the uh, Collector's Edition, which is the hardened version, but go check it out. It's freaking insane. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be recording uh, some Rock Band 2 DLC, some Judas Priest, which is pretty funny. Other than that, uh, I don't know what I'm going to record. Playing Pokemon Platinum because I'm a man who loves his Pokemon from way back when. And, uh... I was playing it on this DS here since I already, I already unboxed it in one of the episodes, but uh, I am as giddy as a schoolgirl, and you may ask yourself, how could a 21-year-old guy possibly be as giddy as a schoolgirl? Well, uh, I ran into this thing called the GTS, I think it's called, in this game, and it allows you to trade wirelessly and just search a whole list of people looking for Pokemons, and uh, I needed a champ, and basically I got him a champ, so... You may ask, why? Why are you so happy? Because the nightmares of how we used to have to do it. First of all, you'd have to find a friend who had the same Pokemon, or would at least agree to do this. Then you needed some stupid link cables, and then you needed the time to do it. And when you're like 11, trying to trade for something that evolves, which is pisses me off, it takes forever. Because your friends are stupid, you're stupid, and you probably don't have the money to be buying all these cables. Some stuff to record. I uh, basically just uploaded the rest of the pit, so that should be done. And now I need to record Super Mario RPG, and it is. Seems like I can even get the clock in. If I'm not stupid, there we go. It's late. And now anyone who watches that, you know, you can see that I actually do do this really late, and it does get uploaded pretty recent to when you see it, so. Let's go do that. The Rock Band DLC comes out in 45 minutes, and that needs to this needs to get done now. It's like 5:12 a.m. Sun's rising over there, and I'm still up, obviously. That's, uh, you guys know I stay up late, later than hell. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Finally, the DLC is apparently up, or it should be. There it goes. And I'm about to do some Rock Band videos, so that's pretty much. I'm gonna do that, and I'm probably just gonna do nothing for a while, just edit them and get them up, and then probably go to sleep, and then wake up and do it all over again. It's 7.02, uh, I got done uploading and editing all that stuff, and feels like I just got punched in the face, so I think I'm just gonna pass out and really act like I got punched in the face, so see you in a few hours. Do something in the afternoon, and uh, slept late. It was, I woke up earlier than I thought, but. That's pretty much the day and how that goes, or the night, since there was really no day except for now, but that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'll figure something out. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I have the day off and tomorrow, so that's good. Now I have to wake up at uh, 4 a.m. on Thursday to go to work, and that should be fun.